What's up everybody? This video is going to go over our three new wing options, uh, what we're calling our Apex 8, our Apex 12, and our Apex 15. So what's cool about this wing is the main element is the same for both dual element options. So what that means is this wing is upgradable simply by swapping out end plates and adding either our 3 inch or 6 inch flap to this main element. Now what's cool about that is the wing can kind of grow with you as you start to do more front end arrow, you start getting faster, stuff like that. Now the options on this wing are we can customize upright spacing to whatever you want and we can customize the span to whatever you want up to 72 inches wide. This is our top mount option as you can see and this particular wing has a 8 inch cord front to rear. This wing was designed by JKF Arrow uh, just before he went on to Formula One um, so all of the CFD data and everything is in the website I'll put that in a link in the description below um, so you can get all those numbers and all that stuff. So as you see we're going to do a quick end plate swap, add the upper element and then we'll take a look at the Apex 12. So as you can see simply swapping the end plates and adding the upper flap all of a sudden now you have a dual element wing which provides a lot more downforce and is also a very efficient wing profile. To adjust it, all you need is a 10 millimeter wrench and a 4 millimeter Allen. Loosen up your adjustment points and change the angle of the upper flap. So to adjust a dual element wing, you don't necessarily want to change the angle of the main element, but it's the upper flap that gets the adjustment to increase or decrease downforce to keep that arrow balance correct on your car. So once you loosen up all your hardware, you can see how simple it is just to run the upper flap through its adjustment range. Whether you need more or less downforce, you can get your balance that way. Like all of our wings, you can pick your upright spacing and can be had in any span up to 72 inches. So if this setup doesn't provide enough downforce, the step up from here would be our Apex 15. Just like going from the 8 to the 12, again, an end plate swap and a different upper element can really increase the downforce of the wing. So here's our Apex 15. This is basically an unlimited wing um, meant for serious time attack cars, hill climb stuff, stuff where serious downforce is needed. The standard mount setup for this wing is a top mount. We can customize the spacing of the mounts along with a custom span up to 72 inches. Adjusting the flap on this one is just like the Apex 12. Just loosen your hardware and add or remove flap angle as necessary. So once you loosen up your hardware, simple as just tilting the flap up or down as necessary to get the balance that you need. So there you guys have it. Hopefully this quick little video was a good intro to these wings. We're going to do follow up videos to how to properly set the angle and adjust it. Uh, remember all the CFD data and everything is on the website. The links will all be in the description below. Any questions please just reach out let us know. See you at the track.